हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संकेत चंद्रकांत कुंभार आई एम अ मैकेनिकल बीटेक स्टूडेंट एट राजाराम बापू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रेक ड्रम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ब्रेक ड्रम इज अ हॉलो सिलेंड्रिकल कंटेनर दैट इज अटैच इन साइड ऑफ कार्स व्हील एंड रोटेट्स विथ इट दिस ड्रम्स आर टिपिकली मेड फ्रॉम कास्ट आयन दो सम आर कंपोज ऑफ एल्युमिनियम विच इज बेटर हीट कंडक्टर Good heat, uh, good heat condition helps with improving heat dissipation and resisting brake fail. But cast iron works well enough in the most cases. So, let's see the manufacturing process of brake drum. This is the process flow chart of manufacturing the brake drum. You can see first one is a selection of raw material. This raw material is used in the sand mixing and for melting. After sand mixing, there is a mold making process. Using that. Sand. But before mold making, we have to prepare a pattern of a product. So uh, there is a pattern making process first. Side by side, when melting and tapping processes are completed, next process is pouring. After that, knockout and short blasting processes are there. Then quality inspection is done on the casting. Then some machining processes are also there. Again, quality inspection and the last balancing and painting. So. Let's study these all processes in the detail. First, selection of raw material. Brake drum castings are generally made up of a special type of cast iron that is heat conductive and wear resistant. Some vehicles have used aluminum drum, particularly for front wheel applications. Aluminum conducts heat better than the cast iron, which improves the heat dissipation and reduces the fade. Uh, grey cast iron has been the material of choice for producing the brake drums as it exhibits high strength and has uh, resistance to wear under high stress conditions. Cast iron readily dissipates heat and is ideally suited for the production of the brake drums. So let's see the next pattern making process. Pattern making is the first step in the casting process. Pattern is a model of a part to be casted. It is used to prepare the mold cavity. Firstly, as per the design, pattern of brake drum is formed. With considering the various allowances, then the next step is a mold making. Mold is a cavity in which molten metal is poured and allowed it to cool so as to produce a desired product. And such cavity is formed with the help of the pattern. The mold material consists of silica sand mixed with the suitable bonding agent to produce the mold. A flask usually metal frame is placed over the pattern to produce the cavity representing one half of the casting. Compaction is achieved by either jointing or squeezing the mold. The other half of the mold is produced and then that two flasks are uh, positioned together to form the complete mold. After the mold uh, completed, the next process is melting. In the melting department, induction furnaces are used. In this furnace, pig iron, borings and uh, scrap iron are heated up to 1430 to 1500 degrees Celsius. Once the correct temperature is reached, the ladle is preheated and the metal is tapped into the ladle. During the tappings, inoculation is added. This inoculation is important for flowability, machinability and to control the cooling cooldown, uh, cooldown period. Once the tapping is completed, the metal is poured into the molds. So, uh, the next process is pouring. The molten metal is poured into the molds. The pouring needs to be done in a certain fixed time. If the pouring time is longer, there is a bigger chance of sand drops, scabbings, and inclusion and blow holes also. The next process is a knockout process. Once the cooldown period is over, the molding box which contains the mold and castings will be transported to the knockout facility. In the knockout facility, the molding boxes vibrated which will loosen the sand of the mold and remove it from the casting. The sand is transported to the sand mixing along with the 20% fresh sand and then excess materials like pouring cups, sprues, runner bar, gates are removed. Then the next process uh, we will see is a short blasting. Once knockout is completed, the casting goes through a short blasting. Here the casting will be fired upon a large amount of very small steel shots. This process will remove the leftover molding, sand and other dirt after. 
after short blasting uh, the casting passes through the first quality gate where they are checked for any defects now the casting is transported to the machining facility here the different operations are carried out based on the requirements when the machining is done once again casting defects are checked because some defects will only emerge after machining the castings are also checked for machining defects now the last process is dynamic balancing painting after machining the drums uh, the drums are balanced on the balancing machine and painted and finally packed now i will show you a, a video of manufacturing the break drum this is the foundry in which uh, break drums are manufactured uh, this is the sand mixing machine uh, this is the pattern this man is making the mold these are the uh, metal frames now you will uh, put that sand into this after hardening that sand that pattern will be removed and we get uh, these types of molds this pattern is removed uh, this is the melting process the scraps are uh, added in the furnace the metal is melted Now the pouring process is started. These are the molds in which molten metal is uh, poured. After the cool down, the castings are removed, and then then the uh, machining processes are done. this machining uh, inspection or uh, inspection will done but in this manufacturing processes uh, some defects will form uh, these are the uh, defects form filling related defects are blow holes sand burning sand inclusion cold shirt misrun and gas porosity and defects by appearance cavities discontinuities incomplete casting defective surface rat tail and buckles incorrect dimension shape defects are uh, mismatch defect distortion flash defect and thermal defects cracks or tears shrinkage sink mark i hope you all understood the manufacturing process of break drum from this video if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section thank you